Hi everyone, Dr. Jamie. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome and hit that subscribe button. You'll get health and wellness videos from me regularly. We're going to be talking about how to bend properly today. I'm going to give you one more common way, one very uncommon way, and then I'm going to tell you something to absolutely never ever do. But first, go ahead and pause the video, read my disclaimer. And at the end of the video, if you found this helpful, please hit the like button and let me know you enjoyed it. Okay, the most common way that we tell people to bend in the U.S. or westernized countries, we say to bend at the knees. And the reason is we don't want people bending through their lower backs, their lumbar spine here, because this can cause issues. All right, so instead what we do is we have them bend down at the knees, keeping the back straight. And then you're going to lift whatever item you're going to lift. A couple of little tips are make sure that you keep the item close to your body. Anytime you're reaching for something, obviously it's going to be heavier. The far away, if it's on angle, you don't want to have it like that. You want to keep it as close to you between the knees if you comfortably can. And then you're just going to power through with those legs, lifting the object up. Perfect. And same for putting things down. Keep that back straight through the lumbar spine. You're keeping your abs tight actually the whole time and powering in through the legs. Okay, the so next method is one that's much less common. And I love it. You'll see this in non-westernized countries, they actually bend through the hips, hinging at these lovely little hip joints that twist in the socket and are so built for this. What you want to do though is keep those abs nice and tight, right? Because in general we tend to have weaker abs in standing and sitting postures, it's always important to keep them tucked in when you're going to lift something. And then the other thing you're going to do is keep that back nice and straight. And you'll notice, I'll do this slowly, but you'll notice that I do keep my back pretty straight as I go. Because all of the bending is happening right here. And I'm doing this slowly just for demo purposes, but I would go all the way down. I want to grab the stool just like I did before. And then I'm going to use my legs and my back to come back up. And if you couldn't do this because you had tight hamstrings, then you definitely want to stretch them out. But let me bend down, put this down. And I'm just going slow for demo purposes, but a great stretch once you get about here, if you're really tight, as long as you keep this tight and the back straight, is kind of push your butt or your sits bones toward the ceiling to stretch those hamstrings out a little bit. And you can hang out in that position for a minute and then keep a flat back and a pulled in belly while you come back up and you'll be fine. This is awesome for bending. I love it because it does stretch out our very tight hamstrings because we sit too much. Okay, here's my suggestion on never ever doing and that is combining bending and rotating through the back. This is a classic movement where people get injured. Even picking up light objects and especially when they're not warmed up. They bend, go to grab something, it's far away, they twist through their lumbar spine right here, they grab it and the back becomes injured. And to avoid this, just don't do it. Always Shift, move those feet a little bit, turn your body and face what it is you're going to lift. And then when you lift it, if you gotta bring it over here, shuffle on back once you have it and put it down. One of the biggest things I see is people getting injured when they're traveling because they sit on an airplane, they haven't moved for four hours, they get off the airplane, what do they do? They try to reach awkwardly for their luggage, lift a heavy load, and they always will end up bending and rotating and lifting the luggage and they hurt themselves on their vacation. So I hope that you hear my voice in the back of your head next time you're traveling and remember to just 
plan lifting that luggage off properly. Make sure you keep your abs tight. Make sure you never bend and rotate. Okay, guys. Hope that was helpful. Don't forget to hit the like button. We'll see you next time. Bye.